Hi guys, it's John here with another benchmark comparison test between the Galaxy S22 and the Galaxy S23. So we've now got the July update on both of these. As you can see, this came out yesterday on the S23 and it was already available on the S22. So for change, they've actually come out with updates relatively at the same time. So what we're going to do is run through our usual benchmarks and just see how they're comparing to last month. And we'll see if there have been any improvements at all whatsoever. Now I've got both of these set to 80% brightness. We've got the thermal monitor widget here in the top right corner. So you can monitor the temperature and they're both obviously charged up to 100% battery. So let's run the CPU benchmark and the GPU and we'll skip to the end and we'll see how they look. Right, so the CPU benchmark is finished and not much to speak about here. They're both around the same as they were last month. Just a slight percentage increase on both phones, but nothing really too exciting there. So we'll move on to the GPU test now and see how they compare there. Temperature wise, they were both around the same. Slightly cooler than last month, but it is a bit cooler here in the UK, so that's to be expected. Battery wise, we're down to 94% on the S22 Ultra and 96 on the S23 Ultra. So let's skip to the end of this one and see how they do here. Okay, so the Compute GPU benchmark has just finished and we can see here no major improvements here from last month, but obviously the S23 Ultra is still winning quite comfortably with a very good average here, which seemed to increase as time went on. Temperature wise as well, we can see that the S23 is at 32 and the S22 is at 35 degrees. So still a bit warmer, on the 8 Gen 1 compared to the 8 Gen 2. Battery wise, we're down to 91% on the S22 here and 95 on the S23. So let's move on to the Antutu benchmark now and we'll see how they do here. Now I have installed the latest version. For some reason, it does not show up as the latest version on the S22. I've had this problem before, but I sent the APK from the S23 to the S22 to try and install that and see if that made a difference, but it doesn't. So it's, they are both running version 10.006. So we're gonna run through the test now and we'll see how they both do. Right, so the Antutu benchmark has just finished and we can see here not much has changed at all on the S23 and on the S22 we've lost about 5 or 6% compared to last month. Temperature wise 40 degrees versus 39 and battery 85 versus 89. So we're now going to run these with a 50 minute stress test. So let's just see how they get on. I'll skip to the end of this one and we'll see how they've done. Okay, so some very interesting results here from the stress test. So we'll start with the S22, and this is looking pretty similar to last month, maybe slightly lower here with lots more down to below 60% for the CPU performance. And clockwise as well for the cores, you can see not doing brilliantly here, maybe around 2.6, 2.7 gigahertz. But yeah, mainly around the sort of 2.5 gig for the highest speed there. But very disappointing results here on the S23. If we have a look here, we can see here the performance dropping at around the five minute mark down to around 60%, obviously to try and keep the phone as cool as possible. But yeah, that's not very nice to see when we compare this to last month where we didn't have this at all. And you can see here the cores have also dropped just before the five minute mark here, straight down to around 2.1 gigahertz. So not brilliant results here for the S23, not very impressed with that. Temperature wise, they're both around 41 degrees, battery is 78 versus 82. So let's let the phones cool down slightly and we'll then move on to the 3D Mark test. Right, so the phones are both sufficiently cooled down now, so let's move on to the Wildlife Extreme Stress Test. Okay, so the Wildlife Extreme Stress Test has just finished and the results are a bit mixed here. We've got a best loop score increase on both phones compared to last month, but the lowest loop score is quite a lot worse than it was last month along with the stability. So nothing really improved apart from the best loop score, which was slightly higher on both phones. Okay, I've let the phones cool down a bit, but just gonna run the Slingshot Extreme Test now and see how they do. Right, so the slingshot is just finished. And again, nothing really too exciting here. They've slightly decreased compared to last month, which is a bit of a shame. We don't want to see any decreases at all if possible, but that is what it is, sadly. 
So we can see what's left on the batteries as well. We've got 63 versus 68, so there's now just a 5% difference. 41 degrees versus 39, so the 8 Gen 2 is still a bit cooler than the 8 Gen 1. But yeah, no increases here across the board. So we'll move on to the final test now, which is the Jetstream 2, just to test the web browsing. Okay, and the Jetstream 2 test has just finished, and a slight decrease here on the S23 compared to the S22, where it's around about the same. So again, nothing really too exciting there in this month's update. So there we have it. That is the July update for the S22 Ultra and the S23 Ultra. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Overall, I'd say there's been quite a decrease on the S23 this month. S22 has stayed around about the same, but the S23 performance is definitely a lot worse than it was last month. We can't blame it on temperatures because the UK is actually a bit cooler at the moment. So last month's test was quite warm but now it's quite cool, so I'm not quite sure why these sort of throttling things are happening at the moment. But anyway, going over the battery, we can see here there's a 5% difference between the two. So the S22 has got S62% left versus 67 on the S23. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do like, subscribe. Don't forget to leave any comments you have down below, and I'll see you again in the next one.